Hello, my name is Rebecca. I'm based in Uganda. Hari Mahardika, Indonesia Open Street Map Community. Mike Rayami from South Sudan. Mi nombre es Regina Campos, vivo en Cusco, Perú. Generally, Kampala is made up of 1.5 million people and it generates about 750 tons of waste. 50% of that waste is managed by the Kampala City Capital Authority and the rest is managed by the private sector and the local people. Uh, Damurek disaster is one of the disasters that uh, really often occurred in Indonesia. Sadly, this kind of disaster is still not familiar compared to the other disasters like flood, landslide or earthquake. Uh, in fact, the result of this disaster can also have a fatal consequences. For example, in 2009, a dam wreck disaster uh, took more than a hundred casualties in this area. If I want the hot microgram, I will use it to uh, set up an OSM community in South Sudan, which is currently not there. Ejemplo, cuánta incidencia en la política tiene una mujer y dónde tiene que acudir una mujer que ha sido víctima de violencia. If I got the, mic the hot micro gun, I would use that to map all the different waste pickup points in Kampala. That information also would be used by the Kampala City Authority to easily access the different pickup waste points. So this would be used to avoid the flooding around Kampala, especially around the Boise, and to reduce the diseases that are related to poor poor solid waste management in Kampala. If I get the hot micro grant, uh, I think I want to conduct a mapping uh, project in a disaster prone village in, uh, in uh, East Java province, uh, which has a vulnerability of dam break disaster. Use the hot micro grant to carry out a training section to all the refugees in Uganda and to the universities in South Sudan and the humanitarian or implementing partners working in South Sudan to have it uh, have a better improved uh, map data that will really help in the humanitarian response in the country. Esta consiste, por un lado, en trabajar con estudiantes de nivel secundario en diferentes provincias del Cusco, capacitándoles en herramientas como OpenStreetMap y otras tecnologías para que ellos las utilicen investigando temas de género. Sí.